Thanks for choosing the Drive to Vilbus Healthcare Bariatric Battery Powered Patient Lift. This video will enable you to successfully operate the bariatric battery powered patient lift, which is designed with a weight capacity of 600 pounds. The lift allows a medical professional or attendant to comfortably and safely transfer a patient from one resting position to another. Safety is most important when using a patient lift. Your safety as well as the patient's safety. Keep your back straight and in a neutral alignment. Do not twist your back when lifting. Keep your center of gravity stable and low and use your leg muscles. Let's begin with how to operate the electric patient lift. Safe transfers begin with a patient sling that is not worn, has loose stitching, frayed, torn, broken slings, or excessively washed and bleached. Broken slings are unsafe. If the sling appears to be unsafe, do not use. After the sling is inspected, make sure that the sling is positioned correctly on the surface and with the patient in the center of the bed. To position the patient correctly, roll the patient on the side away from the attendant. This will enable you to center the patient on the sling. Spread the base legs of the lift to the widest possible position. Next, make sure that the base of the lifter is under the bed. Press the down button on the control handset to lower the lift. Next, you will need to use the hanging straps. Hook those straps on the hanging bar. If a chain is used, make sure the S-hooks are away from the patient. Do not lock the casters of the patient lift when lifting an individual. Casters must be left unlocked to allow the patient lift to stabilize during lifting procedures. To lift the patient, press the up button on the control handset. Lift the patient until his or her feet will swing easily off the bed, ensuring that the patient is at all times facing the attendant. Next, transfer the patient to the commode or wheelchair and position above the seat surface. Then, lock the brakes of both the lifter and the commode or wheelchair. When the patient is seated, press the down button on the handset to gradually lower the patient. The patient can remain seated in the sling. Let's review some safety tips for operating the lift. The lift is used to transfer patients from bed to wheelchair or commode. Please do not use to transport patients. Always remember, when lifting a patient, the base legs must be in the most widely open position and the caster brakes are not engaged. This will prevent tipping. When the battery power is below 50%, an audible beep will engage. When the warning is heard, charge the battery immediately. The patient lift cannot be lowered down when the battery is not properly charged. With a patient suspended in the sling, do not roll caster base over objects such as raised carpet bindings, door frames, or any uneven surfaces that would create an imbalance of the lift. Please use steering handles at all times to maneuver the lift. Push the emergency red button if the control unit system is not functioning properly. Here's how to charge the battery on the bariatric patient lift. With the battery box, control box and actuator assembled, insert the power cord plug in control box and the other end into a wall outlet. The battery is charging when the charge light is illuminated. When the battery charge is completed, the charge light will shut off automatically. On average, it takes approximately 4 hours to charge from 50% to 100%. Remove the power supply cord. The lift is now operational. The bariatric patient lift will provide you with a safe and comfortable way to transfer a patient from one resting position to another. Practice transfers often to develop a high level of proficiency before you try to lift a patient. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about your Drive to Vilbus Healthcare Bariatric Patient Lift. 
Should you need any assistance in operating the patient lift, please contact Drive to Vilbus Healthcare or your registered medical provider.